I just really like this team. And look at the Mulan damage. Look at the Mulan damage. It's insane. Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, I wanted to just take a look at Mulan. So I had some people in the comments asking me like, you know, is Mulan worth it? What teams and stuff like that? So I was doing some Mulan play over on Kiasma and I ended up with this damage result compared to Awakened Thane, which I thought was pretty solid. But I wanted to go through Mulan, give you guys some more of my thoughts on her and also uh, the new dude whose name always leaves me. What's his name? Uh, Tamaris. I always call him Tamaris for some reason but yeah Tamaris uh, basically those two I feel like just a match made in heaven absolutely loving it but I've been testing a bunch of stuff over here now keep in mind this is in the tower which is not as big of a deficit for Chiasma um, so it's not as crazy as campaign but we'll jump over into campaign take a look at some stuff uh, and have a bit of a chat but I just couldn't believe the damage out of this one so I'll go ahead and show you this fight we'll work around some other formations and stuff like that uh, and see what we can get uh, out of it but um, but yeah honestly I, I couldn't believe the damage even though primarily Mulan is there more for the control based aspects she can deal some damage which is pretty solid so let's take a look at this one first I'll try and put it on one time speed uh, it is on one time speed perfect so there you go she we, we get the instant group up and that is the huge thing unfortunately Geralt dies in this team very quickly um you know he's a bit RNG based with the dodge and all that sort of stuff um but in general, I, I really like this team in theory, and it worked pretty well in this circumstance. So as you can see, it's a pretty quick destroying team. Now, if we'll, ju we'll jump back out. Uh, we'll close that off. We'll jump back in. Um, when you look at this team, I've sort of tried to abuse. Well, obviously, the first thing is we've got Mulan and new dude. Mulan, Mulan, I think, is just absolutely fantastic in that she gets that instant CC on three enemies when she's back mid. Now, you can use her with this guy and put her in the front row so that she holds one enemy back a bit further so that you can control exactly where this guy goes. Um, but in general, I do like her in the back mid if you don't have anything else that needs it. Um, otherwise, you can use her with him and then something like, um, you know, something like uh, Yennefer. Uh because Yennefer's got that close range AoE. Um, but in general, the team that I was looking at here, and when we look at our deficit, it's 53 to 450. So we're not quite at the 10X. So, you know, keep that in mind. But the idea here is that you get her, you stun those three units. He jumps in as well. He's probably going to jump there or something like that. Uh, and then he pulls the rest in. And then we have two units in the front row that can be fairly tanky. Chad's bringing the buffs, the attack buffs for the team. And then we've also got Geralt who is doing, um, you know, he's got his dodge and his survivability hack. Even though he died in this one, if you do run more replays, he can probably survive that. And he also has the close range CC. And obviously Chad, after he ults, he's just gonna chain CC as well. So we've got the early lockout and then we've got the continued CC. Now with this team, I chose to put the Thane in so I could try and get another CC at the start of battle, plus just be main damage dealer. You can definitely drop Awakened Thane out for anything else that has close range or just about any other damage dealer, I feel. Um, we've got our three piece bonus using Chad, Geralt and Mulan. So we're pretty much set with that. So we can go into just about anything we want. I mean, you could probably get away with an Irons having enough damage, especially on a stage like this. Like I said, you might even get away with something uh, like her. Uh, Yennefer in the back row here, probably not going to be as effective. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much somebody out for anything. That was just looking for a four-piece bonus. But, you know, if you're looking for... A, I, I, I want to say Awaken Belinda, but I don't want to do Awaken Belinda because... Um, you know, it's another awakened unit, and we've already got one luxury unit uh, in there with Chad. But I absolutely love Chad. You can you can definitely swap this around depending on deficit. Uh, but what's a normal unit? Well, honestly, we got that much control. We could probably go the three two with a Raku. Let's try this. Uh, so let's take a look at where it falls. So there we go. We get the early Mulan CC. Then we get the jump up top. Unfortunately, Raku dies instantly. Who's killing Raku? Oh, that's right. The problem with this is Morrow does a, a, an instant nuke uh, on whoever he's attacking. So that's probably why the Geralt died in the last one as well. So in this, you kind of got to bring something that can um, cheat that mechanic against him. Uh, I wonder if you can survive. I don't think so, but let's just try. Let's just try. 
Yeah, in, instant one shot. Yeah, so Mario does the instant one shot. Um, so normally I do like a tailene or something like that. I'm trying to think of the most free to play option for this. Um, so obviously in the previous match we had the Thane that did the teleport, uh, and then you basically sacrifice a unit up here. Uh, do we have anyone that can free? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's let's try it. Okay, Kaz can dodge magic. Yeah, I've never tried this interaction. Yeah, look at it go. Look at the look at the Kaz. Look at that. Look at that. Free dodges. <laughs> uh, oh, Geralt's gone. Geralt's gone. Come on, we got to get this. We got to get this. Got got those stunts happening. Come on, come on, Chad. You can get it. You can get it, buddy. We're so close. We're so close. Yes. <laughs> okay. Kaz OP confirmed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I normally just take Taylene and stuff to that or Awaken Baden or something like that. But uh, yeah, there you go. Midland Mid damage. Not too bad. Kaz, look at, look at Kaz. Just main DPS carrying the team. Um, but yeah, you, you can get away with stuff like that. So I want to jump over in a campaign where we're at a bit of a higher deficit just to take a look and see what we can, uh, we, we can manage. Oh, oh, that's King's Tower. What was I doing? So let's jump over here, jump in. Um, I think there was a team already using this combo. Yeah, this one here. So uh, as you see in this one, it got the Mulan in the front row. Once again, slowing the advance on that. Uh, well, th this one's a bit different because we've got the Skrig. We're not going to be able to get the Skrig because I think we he avoids the knockup, so he doesn't get the stun. Don't quote me. Um, but this way we can just slow the... Uh, the Lucius down, guarantee that old mate is going to jump in here uh, and get that. And then he's going to group up the Sophia. Unfortunately, once again, with Scrag, you're just going to be stuck with that. And we're running a similar formation here where we do run uh, the new dude. The, the, I'm just going to call him Floppy from now on. We run Floppy and uh, and Mulan. And we also got the Geralt. Geralt's just a really solid option, especially when you start grouping as well. Um, and then we do have the Yennefer in this one as well, uh, bringing us that three-piece bonus. And then this one's utilizing the Belinda. Like I said, Belinda just fantastic for anything that groups um so let's take a look this is just something that kiasma had placed here already um i tested it a couple times did get a victory but it's a bit rng based so you gotta you know do a few retries here and here and there and see how you go um as you can see we've already lost floppy um but the rest is looking pretty fine and like like i said once things are grouped belinda can just absolutely melt it just depends on this scrag if he gets away uh which he doesn't in this one so he should be pretty good and there you go. So, like, that, that team's a bit different. That's more about just get the group and then try and CC and survive with your back row. Um, obviously, the enemy team had, uh, what, uh, Talia? Uh, no, not, is that her name? Talia? Talia? It, dude, I, I'm... I'm Ta Tali? I, I, I'm, get, I'm I'm struggling on names today. Just give me a break. But, uh, you know, she has her, like, cheat death type thing, and it's, like, just run out the clock against her, and then you can get her dead. So that's the strategy in that one. Uh, and let's just jump back out and then back in and take a look. Uh, and that was... And as you can see, that's that's a much more larger deficit in this one. Um, we've got the... We're, we're over the 10x. We're at about a 12 to 13x deficit. So that one's much more solid uh, using that. But like I said, we can look at some other teams. Uh, Tassie's just going to be a pain for anything, uh, obviously. Uh, this team, not as bad. We do have the Cecilia that we'd have to deal with. Um, this team's probably an easy team. You do have the Antandra who could get annoying, um, but that's pretty much the main one. Uh, and then this one, we've got the Antandra and we've got the Iron who can get frustrating. Uh, we do have the maxed out uh, on Granite, so he could do the stuns as well. I mean, in general, not too bad. But one team that I did really want to test out, uh, which, I, which I have done, and it doesn't really work. I wanted to do the full invade team with this guy, with Mulan. You know, you basically have the battle start with all of your units on the enemy side of the team. Uh, enemies... <laughs> enemy side of the field uh which it, it you know it didn't really work too well but uh let, let's go with uh let's go with a full invade so i feel like awakened thane is going to be uh, our main dps in a team like this uh, and then the problem with this is we are lacking uh a, a bonus uh, so, you know, I was thinking maybe we put the zappity zap in there to, to get the, uh, the instant teleport across. Now we could bring the Screg for the invade bonuses, but he would defeat the purpose of wanting to have the whole team on the enemy side at the start of battle. So this is when you look into a lot of different things that you can use. You can use something like Athalia. We could use Spearboy. Spearboy would get the three piece bonus. Like obviously Athalia would too. Um, and maybe if we do, what if we do something like this? Wait. What if we do that? And we do a Thalia to lock that out. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> There's no chance, by the way, guys. <laughs> There's no chance. 
yeah, no, nah. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. It, 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 at this deficit, it's sort of, you sort of struggle for the damage as well. But I, I feel like in PvP, I want someone to come up with something like this, where it's like, just like your, your side of the field has nothing at the start of battle. Uh, that, that's, that's what I want to see people create. It, it would really make me quite happy. But, uh, you know, it just sort of, it's like a bunch of those units that used to be damage capable, but now they're not. And really to make Thane work as a main damage uh, at these type of deficits, you've got to have a lot of buffing for him. But in general, let's go ahead and actually test out uh, something like that team that we did just use. So let's go ahead here. Um, who does Thane uh, advance on again? Okay, good. It's that That's pretty solid. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so we can stop the Sophia, which means then we can bring the Chad... Where's the chat at? There he is. What a legend. Uh, and then we can also bring the Geralt. I, I like the combo of this. I, I, I just like the way this team works in theory, even though it might not be as great in practice. Uh, and, th and then we're going to bring Floppy. And then we'll see how we go. Let's see. The group up. Okay. I mean, it's looking solid so far. I mean, I just, I just like this team. I just really like this team. And look at the Mulan damage. Look at the Mulan damage. It's insane. I didn't realize she did that much damage. <laughs> it's, it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy how she's just absolutely clapping the entire team. But like I said, I re and this is at a pretty decent deficit. But honestly, this is my dream team for these two. I feel like these two, and, and I like listen, I, I'm not like a mega pusher in the game, so I could well be wrong on this. But I feel like these two, Mulan and Floppy, could be like the new uh, Chicken Iron type comp. Because Floppy's problem is that he's floppy and he just drops but when you get the mulan to help him control the start allows him to jump in add some extra distraction i feel like it's pretty solid now sometimes when i do test this it does just uh get one shot but like you can try for retries and sometimes get it so let's try against this this team's a bit different because we do have the tassie we've the, the, i i feel like this team's not going to work as well um it's going to take a lot of retries for the yeah may mm, mm, like i said i didn't expect much from this this enemy team. I, I don't think this is one we're going to be able to bring this team to. Because uh, we're just going to get easy clapped. Um, so even, even I'm not even going to bother changing formation on it. Because I, I feel like we're just never going to get close on that one. So scrap that team. Scrap that team. Uh, let's check the next one. Let's just roll through these and have a quick test. Uh, just run around. Now I haven't even checked what artifacts we've got on. Uh, yep, Mulan with the dual divinity. Like the Mulan damage guys. Like Mulan damage. Wow. Uh, all right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's see this one. So unfortunately we have the Morrow who's an instant one shot once again. Uh, unless, oh wait, no, no. Cause we'll get the CC. So our front row Morrow isn't too bad. Cause we'll get the CC on him. Um, and I just don't know, like, I mean, the Cecilia is going to teleport. She's going to get back onto the Geralt, probably kill him pretty quick. Maybe we can survive with some cheese and some dodge. Let's just have a look. Okay. So that's good. Uh, he goes down there. He's going to group them up. Uh, we're grouped up pretty tightly. Uh, Cecilia is on the Geralt. Geralt's living pretty well, which is pretty solid. Uh, Geralt is dead as I say that. Rip the dream. Uh, and then here comes the Mulan going for a ride. Going for a ride. Just just under pony. Under pony. Okay, good. Good. That was really solid damage. Okay, we're going to get clapped here. But that was very close. I feel like with retries, we do get this. Um, if they were all facing... If, the, if he was facing them all, we'd be pretty sweet because we would have stunned them all. Um, with the Chad, but, uh, let's go again. Let's go again. Unfortunately with this strategy though, we do keep the enemies behind Arthur, but I think he turns around as well. So it's, it sort of balances out in the strategy. So let's just do this again. Maybe we can change the formation a little bit to get this one. So Geralt, uh, I was about to say Geralt surviving a bit longer this time, but, uh, apparently not. No, <laughs> couldn't get there. Wait, I'm, I'm going to do this one more time and I'll do it off camera. Cause I feel like just with straight retries, we're going to get this could also change the, the beast. The beast could make a difference as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, also, I might even just swap the positioning of uh, Geralt and Chad, and we could be cool. I think that might be what we have to do. Look at that Cecilia surviving on like 1 HP. All right, back in a sec.